2020 was a tough year for many families. A little bug invaded our lives and forced many of us to stay home. This resulted in many people pursuing new hobbies. Since our quarantine began in spring, gardening became extremely popular. But what to do with all the produce? Good day, honorable judges, fellow foragers, and my video audience. While many people were getting on the preserving garden produce bandwagon, my family was not only part of the parade, we were the grand marshal. My mom has had a huge garden my whole life. I have grown up weeding, watering, picking, shelling, blanching, pickling, canning, jamming, and of course, eating. If you were asking me my favorite good on the shelf, it would be pickles. Pickled carrots, pickled beans, pickled asparagus, and pickled jalapenos. Let me share with you how to make pickled carrots. The favorite of my favorites. First, you need to find a recipe. We use a modified version of dill carrots from this 4-H cookbook. Next, gather your utensils. You'll need a mason jar and a lid. Make sure it's clean and sterile. I like to use the wide mouth so I can fit in more carrots. You'll also need sealer lids to fit your mason jar. A tablespoon measuring. Two pots. One will use to be used to boil the water and the other for the sealer lids. A measuring cup and a microwave. This will be used to boil the vinegar. An oven set at 200, 225 degrees Fahrenheit. My mom has this handy magnet she uses to take the sealer lids out of the boiling water. And pop hats so you can set your jars on them once they have come out of the oven. The ingredients you'll need is water, vinegar, carrots, dill, jalapenos, garlic, red pepper flakes, salt. First step is to fill your pots up with water and set to boil. Put your sealer lids in a small pot. These sealer lids have a rubber ring around them that it gets soft when boiled. When as it cools, it will seal to the glass jar. In your jar, put dill. Since this job is usually done in the summertime, we use heads of dill. But if you choose it off, to do it off season, dill weed works just as well. I use one to two tablespoons. Next, we like a garlicky carrot. So we put in three to five cloves of garlic. Add as many jalapenos to meet your spice level. We like three to five pieces. And for more spice, add red pepper flakes. One to two tablespoons will be just nice. And pickling salt. Pickling salt is basically just pure salt that, that keeps the lip pickle brine or liquid crystal clear. That way it doesn't look murky or cloudy. Now take those delicious fresh baby carrots that your mom makes you pick when thinning the rope. But really, any carrots will do. Just make sure they are clean and you leave half an inch of space at the top. By now, our water should be bubbling away and our sealer lids boiling. You can carefully bring them over and set them on one of your hot pads. I have already measured out two thirds cup of vinegar and put it in the microwave for one minute to boil. My family has tried everything to boil vinegar and the only consistent result is it has stinky. We have found that microwaving makes the least amount of that gross smell. Carefully pour your vinegar into the pickled carrots, followed by your water. Make sure to leave half an inch of space at the top. Next, take your take a cloth and wipe down the edge of the, the rim of the glass jar. You don't want anything interfering with the process. Now, take your handy magnet and take the sealer lid out of the jar. Make sure to dry it thoroughly. Again, you don't want anything to interfere with the sealing process. Once it's dry, place it on top of your jar and put on the screw top. Make sure to not screw it on too tight. There are several ways you can process it. You can use a canner or an oven. Doing this provides an extra assurance over spoilage. 
We prefer to use the oven. Put, it in a, put your dart in a 225 degree oven for 25 minutes. You can take them out once they're done and put them, put them on a cooling rack and wait for the music. Music and pickling? What? How does that go together? As the jar cools, the vacuum seal that is created will suck down the lid and it will result in a loud popping noise. This is music to our ears because it means we have succeeded in sealing. To test the seal, you can press down on the lid of the jar. If there's no movement when you add pressure, it means that it has sealed correctly. But if you press and it pops back up, it has not sealed. You can put it back in the oven to try and seal it again. But a word of caution. Always check the seal before eating the jar's contents. If it has unsealed, it likely means the food has spoiled, and eating it will make you very sick. We choose to wait six weeks before eating our pickle here, because we want to get as much flavor as possible. When choosing a place to store them, make sure it's cool. Added heat can, can sometimes cause jars to unseal. Pickle carrots are a great side dish to any table, or to eat just as a snack. They don't usually end up in a nice dish like this. We like to eat them straight out of the jar. So all those who are going to use their green thumbs this summer, I wish you quick germination, rain, and a bountiful harvest. I am now ready for the judge's question. Thank you, Katie. Uh, you mentioned something about a vacuum when um, the jar seal. Can you please explain what that is? The judge's question was, what is the vacuum and how is it created? Well, when it's, when it's cooling, the pressure on the outside of the jar is much greater than the pressure on the inside of the jar. This causes the sealer lid to suck down, making that popping noise. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Thank you very much.